So the kids and I have been trying to convince my husband that instead of going on vacation this year, let's not go to the beach, let's just stay home and get a pool for our backyard. So we kind of had him convinced a little bit. Now I'm talking an above ground pool. <laughs> not in ground because those are outrageous. Nice, but outrageous. So I just pulled up outside of um, Code Blue Pools. What's it called? Code Blue Pools and Supplies. I don't know if you're in Louisville. But so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to get some prices for him. <laughs> I'm so excited. I would love to have a pool in our backyard, you know? And if so, it'd probably be like this year a pool, maybe next year like a deck or something around it. But we have to like work our way up to that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited. I'm going to go in here and see what they say. I ordered some earrings from Amazon and they just came. <laughs> I'm so excited to open these up and like see what they really look like. Yeah, I did pay a little bit more than I ever pay for earrings, but when I saw these online, I thought they were so cute. <laughs> and I even tried to find them like at different places and everybody was about the same price. All right, I'm trying to get this open. All right. <laughs> it's ham, it's like cheeseburgers and ketchup. How perfect is that for summer? Oh my gosh, <laughs> look how cute these are. Now, to be honest, they were $20. And like I said, that is the most I have ever paid for a pair of ear <laughs> earrings. But let's, let's try this on really quick. I just think this is gonna be so cute for so many different like summer gatherings. <laughs> look at that. That is adorable. Now, I will say, I feel like that ketchup bottle is like going in my ear. Yeah, I may have to, I don't, do you see how like hot up that's going like into my ear? I don't know, that is adorable. And I've got on my God Bless America. Y'all, there's this website, it's called Love and Faith. I'm not supported at all whatsoever, but they're always running like, um, ads and coupons and deals on Instagram and Facebook. That's how I found them. I always wait until they're having specials. I get my t-shirts for $10. $10. Um, sometimes I'll do like buy one, get one free. Sometimes like on the weekends, I'll do like $10 specials. Yeah, I've got so many like um, religious kind of base, but also like really fun and cute t-shirts from them. Oh, that's adorable. Those. Yeah. Um, if you are interested, I will link them down below for you. Like I said, I got mine on Amazon. But these are so cute. And it's like those little beads. <laughs> I love them. So also the other day, Riley and I were out running some errands. We went to Cato. I never go to Cato, but once again on Facebook, um, all these like ads kept popping up for them and they have the cutest little outfits on there and fun earrings. I love a big fun earring. So <laughs> I also got these. <laughs> Yo, know, they're supposed to be a hot dog with like mustard on it and like the bun. How cute. Now, obviously this right here, you know that is a cheeseburger and ketchup. This one, it's like, it's not as obvious. I think that's a hot dog, but I thought this was so cute. I wanna try this one on too. And this was a lot cheaper. I think these were like $8. Where's my receipt? Yeah, $8.99 at Kato. <laughs> and I don't really have a Kato close to me, but because we were out running errands, we swung by there because over there by Kato, there was like a Dollar Tree and a TJ Maxx slash Home Goods store. So, oh, look at that. <laughs> How cute. It also goes like perfect with like the whole like patriotic and like summer. I love that. Y'all, my family's gonna think I'm nuts wearing these, <laughs> these big food earrings, but I love them. That is so cute. I think the cheeseburger though, this one right here is my favorite. But that too is gonna be really cute and fun for some cookouts this summer. 
Wait, I'm on the, out here on our back patio, y'all. We do not have anything nice out here. Um, now, I will say, these little red chairs right here, my brother made those for me when I came home from the hospital with having Riley. He surprised me with them. Little Adirondack, little Adirondack chairs for the kids. So I've had these, Riley's what, 15? 15, 15 years. I love them. Um, we do have our bourbon barrel, barrel pots, a fill of flowers. We had Edison bulbs right here. All the birds, they line up. Seriously, y'all, they wait their turns to come over here and get food for my little bird feeder. Well, this morning, well, this morning I heard something crash. The, <laughs> the Edison bulbs fell to the ground, though, and shattered. So, I've been out here with the shop vac trying to get up all the glass because I'm more worried about Bailey stepping on glass than us. You know, because she can't tell us that she has glass in her paw, so I'm more worried about her than us. So I got my husband's shop, shop vac, trying to get up all the glass that I see. Um, there was a lot of it. Like I said, they fell and shattered. Thank goodness it was only a couple bulbs that broke. And everybody calls me a hoarder, but it's a good thing I am because I went to the garage and um, I found some extra bulbs in the garage. So yeah, see, it pays to be a hoarder sometimes. <laughs> so yeah. That's what I'm doing, trying to get up all the glass. Um, right here, our folding table. We use it to sit out here and eat sometimes. Well, Presley and her boyfriend were painting on it. They were painting their Halloween costumes, so it's got paint on it. But yeah, I would love to get some nice patio furniture for out here. It's just so expensive. Like, I don't understand why patio furniture is so expensive. Yeah, so we just have this patio area that I would love to do something to. Bless his heart. He had a long day at work. So we have a squirrel out here eating. And then there is a blue jay right there by the light in the post waiting its turn. Sometimes you'll get a couple blue jays and cardinal birds and they'll all line up and wait. Blue jay, the turn is yeah, the blue jays sometimes are mean. They'll chase each other. <laughs> they'll chase the other ones off. That blue jay's up there getting a shit up. He's going to come over here and stab a squirrel. They're, they're, they're insane jerks. <laughs> He's over getting his little shit up out. <laughs> you dork. <laughs> He's fixing to get him some fluid. Yeah, look, now he's up in the, oh, <laughs> the bird just flew by. Yeah, now he's in the bird hat feeder. And then Bailey is down here going nuts because of squirrels. What? What do you see? I know, you see the squirrel? Huh? All right, so I got Bailey right here watching the squirrel. Yeah, I'll just stand here and hold her and we, <laughs> we watch the squirrels eat. Against the law. <laughs> so someone without without him knowing. Aren't you supposed to? Aren't, am I supposed to sign some sort of like consent form? <laughs> I beg my lawyer. Your baking dish, muffin pan. All right, he browned up a pound of sausage. He mixed together like eight eggs. I think he added some of this gospel seasoning. And he's trying to <laughs> separate some biscuits. Some Pillsbury grains. Now what you doing? It looks like you're supposed to like flatten them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then just line the, line the pan. Make a little cut. Mash them up, thin them out. <laughs> you use a lot of spray. <laughs> hey, what's the next step? Hmm. 
All right, now I'm going to take sausage and put it into each one of the little cups. Little biscuit bowls. All right, so he's got each one filled up with some sausage, and we still have plenty of sausage left over. That was one pound. Next. Here comes the messy part. <laughs> Oh, that ain't no, you may want to just get like the smallest measuring cup. Yeah, I would just get like the quarter cup measuring. The syringe would be, would be nice. I mean, we have a baster. <laughs> Tell me. I <laughs> was gonna work. But you never know to try. Oh, it did work. Look at that. worked great. Yeah, so that, what did you use, like eight eggs? I think it was eight. Yeah, so you don't even need that many. Looking like if I could roll with six. Six eggs. Maybe try. Yeah, I mean, there's a considerable amount left. Yeah, so you do not need eight eggs. Probably five or six, you're good. All right, we say cheese. Oh yeah, definitely cheese. Yeah, we love some cheese. We always get a Mexican style cheese. All right, there you go, covered in cheese. Oven is preheated to 375. Now, how do you cook it? What do you do? Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, I know that, but for how long? All right. <laughs> All right, he's put it in the oven, 375, we think 20 minutes, but I'll let you know. We also get this little gravy pack from Kroger. It's like 50 cents. <laughs> it's really good though. Like we make just easy biscuits and gravy. So we mix, take this, you mix it with one cup of cold water and we're gonna put gravy and you mix it up and we're gonna put gravy on the top. All right, we're gonna check this. It's only been like 18 minutes. Of course, every oven cooks differently. Ooh, look at that. They're like golden. Clean? Clean. You're more of a baker than me. I mean. You know the... That looks good. Yeah, so it took ours like 18 Ooh. minutes. And then we're heating up the gravy still over there. Sorry. And this right here, this works great. One of these heat. This is like for a high heat. What is this called? <laughs> yeah. Use it for the smoker. Yeah, he uses this on the smoker and he can grab like a cast iron skillet holding this without burning his hand. So this right here from Amazon works great. You can grab a cast iron skillet, but you still gotta move. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't just stay there and hold on cast iron skillet, but you can, you know, easily like get it out of wherever you're using. Ooh, wow, look at that. Just pop around. Yeah. That way they don't continue to cook. Look here, Papa, your arms in the way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Riley. So. Oh. So we'll go to. And she has some, some good old gravy to it. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, that right there. Look how good that looks. A lot of protein. Cheap. Yeah, yeah. I just want one for now. <laughs> Look at that. Yes, you gotta get that gravy on there. Ah, I'll take a little bit more gravy. Mm. <laughs> just a little bit. There you go. That's good. Okay. Got your bait? Ready? Sure. Is it done? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Alright, let's see. It's 
good. You know, I like it. Oh, it's really good. You yeah. like it? And easy, too. Really good, really easy. Cheap. That's what I like. Yeah. The gospel seasoning, though, like, is a little kick to it. Not spicy, though. Yeah. Gospel's not spicy. No, that's spicy. just gives it a lot of flavoring. The biscuits are maybe a little bit doughy, but the eggs are, are done. That's really good. Yeah. Can you see it? <laughs> I can't. <laughs> he took his glasses off and now he can't see. <laughs> Man, it's good. Look. See? It's like the eggs are completely done. The biscuit could be maybe a little bit doughy, but it's really good. And where'd you go? Did you go to McDonald's? No. We just made breakfast. McDonald's? That's hot trash. I track. haven't ate. Alright, P. Be real. <laughs> Go on. Honest opinion. Be real. That's all right. We call it. What do you think? It's actually good. It's actually good. It's good. Did you make it or did he make it? He made it. Nice thing. It's it, was a, it was a team effort. I mean, it's the weekend. Did you just stand back and just support him? I, I filmed him. Uh, it's, the, it's the weekend. Who cooks on the weekend? Her. She clocks out on Thursdays. <laughs> Get on Fridays. Friday. Okay, hey, Riley, come here and taste this. All right, Riley's turn. Come on, picky. <laughs> Go Is it good? There you go. It's good. What is it? <laughs> These squirrels drive her nuts. Squirrels, and we have little chipmunks that run around too. Oh gosh. <laughs> what? What? She wants to be held. We hold her up to the window. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. Hold on, he's gonna get you. He's gonna get she you. Just pick her up. Just pick her up. She just wants to be seen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Little chunk. Look. There's nothing out there. She's breaking her neck to look at me. There's nothing out there. Okay. I'm going to film a new DIY, but I want to show you. I had to go buy a new hot glue gun because mine, after I think like six years, it finally stopped working. And I think the Dollar Tree glue sticks is what kind of ruined mine. But I went and bought the exact same one. I got this at Walmart for like $16.88. So basically $17. It is the Surebonder cordless hot glue gun. I love it. I love it so much I got another one. And then I bought the Surebonder glue sticks to go with it. And you get $50 for $7. Like I said, I've been using the Dollar Tree ones, which I love but I really think that's what ruined my hot glue gun. So I think I'm just gonna stick with like the name brand, but you do get 50. And one of the things that I love about this is there's no cord. <laughs> you plug it in to heat it up, but once it's plugged in and you got it hot, like I can stand here and if I'm working on a wreath, like I can walk over to there with it. If I'm doing something outside, you know, um, if I'm like decorating outside, I need my hot glue gun for something. I can plug it in on the front porch and then walk down to like the yard or to the other side of the porch or something. So I definitely, if you're looking for a cordless hot glue gun, I love my sure bonder. I just opened this up and it does not come with any glue sticks. So, um, so if you get this, make sure you buy some glue sticks because it doesn't even come with a couple. Like I thought there'd be a few in here, but no. It did not come with any glue sticks, but here it is. Like I said, this is my second one of these. The other one lasted me, it was like six or seven years that I had it. And then here's the cord so you can plug it in. <laughs> Look at this crazy dog. She's, Riley took her for a walk. She's chewing on her ice. <laughs> Here 
You're a dork. Oh, if I was a big show. No. <laughs>